What's going on everybody? Today we're riding Highway 99 about 20 kilometers east of Lillooet headed west in British Columbia, Canada. Right off the bat, I know the GoPro angle is a little funky because I left the horizon leveling setting on. It's a little close up and personal, but it's kind of neat seeing the bike tilt in the frame with the horizon staying still. So let me know if you guys like it in a comment down below or if I should go back to the wide angle regular style. Once again, as you can probably tell from the doomsday look in the sky, we are riding very close to forest fires happening currently all over the province, but a little smoke in the sky won't stop us getting after these corners. This section of the 99 follows the Fraser River, which makes for some wonderfully twisty roads. Although this road is frequented by semi-trucks and families on road trips, as it connects Lillooet to Cache Creek, it's still possible to get out here early in the morning and catch some uninterrupted cornering. Flowing through these corners, you get an amazing combination of long, sweeping, radius-changing corners in conjunction with simple, tighter, constant radius corners, all of which makes for a very dynamic experience from a rider's perspective. All of these longer corners have a variety of lines you could take through them if you spend the time to find the finer details of bumps and apexes to inform tire placement. Without multiple practice laps though, or a local rider leading me through these corners, I keep my riding around 70 or 80% threshold where I never feel close to the limit of grip or my skill. The more I drive across the province of British Columbia, the more I appreciate the amount of infrastructure and resources that has gone into building roads like these. These high quality roads don't really seem to make sense except from a longevity perspective. I could understand designing a highway that tens of thousands of commuting people use every day to this standard, but not as a road that connects two communities of 1,000 and 2,300 people respectively. But ultimately more than just 3,300 people that live in the area travel on this road and it's a necessity to be able to get around the province both for recreation and to transport goods. Oh well, at least we as motorcycle riders get to benefit from the success of design. But back to the moment at hand. Most corners offer great sight lines as we move through a valley next to the river, but this same road design leads to the occasional corner around a ridge which can be fully blind when combined with a downhill slope mid-corner. Thanks for coming along for another smoky ride through central BC. If you have a road you think I should check out, drop it in a comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a good day.